Hey guys, welcome to the Charcoal King. Today's a super great day. Me and my dad went fishing. Uh, we caught the heck out of fish. Obviously I caught more than he did, but don't tell him I said that. Um, we've got some white bass here, uh, caught it local. And uh, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna blacken it in our Summit Weber grill. We're gonna do like a 50-50 blend, taco seasoning, some blackened seasoning, and of course butter. You can't do blackening without butter. Uh, we got a mango salsa. We've got some fresh cabbage, some uh, radish. We've got a jalapeno cilantro cream, and we've got some uh, corn tortillas. Stay tuned. All right guys, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the Summit Weber charcoal grill lit up, and uh, we're gonna show you guys how we like to set that up. We're gonna use our cast iron uh, griddle on there. We're going to invert it, which is a little something different. And uh, while that's getting hot, we're going to season our uh, our fish up. If you guys just wait, follow me. All right, guys. So we're going to get this bad boy started. So I'm just going to show you how I do my charcoal, especially uh, doing the griddle. It's a little bit different. As you can see, I've got some charcoal left over from my last cook. Uh, now what I'm going to show you is the grates. Uh, and underneath the grates are the vents. So with the vents, we want to make sure that we're wide open on this one because the more oxygen we have for the fire, the hotter it's going to be. You can see me adjusting the grate on the bottom, and there's the vents. They're open and closed, open, and that's open for us. And that's what we want, all the way open. Uh, when I start the chimney, um, as, as you can see, we're going to fill the chimney up about, uh, about three-quarter full. We don't need a lot because it's going to be a quick fire today. And I'm just going to fill my chimney up. And uh, today I'm using Kingsford Professional Briquettes, if that matters to anybody. And uh, it's a Kingsford uh, charcoal chimney. It doesn't really matter what kind of chimney starter or fire starter you use, but I fell in love with these things. I really didn't use them a lot uh, until about the last couple years. I've always used newspaper or uh, really leftover charcoal bags. But what I found, they burn a lot cleaner. And even in this package, I'll just open up the package. You guys can see it's really easy to open. Any person can do it really that can grab a piece of plastic and open these up. You guys notice that? How easy, how just really easy this is. There we go. And I just like to break them in half. This is how I do it. There's a hundred different ways to do it, but I like it this way. It really works for me. Show you guys real quick one stroke and it's done set it on there In about 15 20 minutes we're going to come back and we're going to show you the different uh, stages of this what this charcoal looks like while this is getting done we're going to walk back inside and we're going to start blacking our fish all right guys so what we're going to do we're going to get their blackening seasoning set up but like i said it's just a 50 50 blend Pretty quick and easy. We're gonna dust these uh, fish fillets. I've had the fish fillets, we, we caught them a week ago. So what I've done, I filleted them and then we've soaked them in water for about a day. And then I added salt and that lets that draws the, the impurities out, the blood and stuff like that. And then I'll just put them on this drying rack and it really helps the water drain from the fish. So that way you don't have like really, really, really soggy fish. All right, guys, we're about five minutes later. As you can see, we've got some really good smoke. That's what we want. It's probably really hard to see, but deep down, if you look close, there's a lot of orange embers, a lot of glowing. And so what that means is the bottom is where it needs to be. But since our charcoal, uh, our charcoal chimney is so deep, it's gonna take a couple more minutes for this top to get ready. Once it's ready, we'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, without burning the phone, you can see I like a little bit of my charcoal on top to be a little bit of black. That way you're not gonna burn through your charcoal as fast. 
but you can see how hot it is. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take the charcoal and since we're gonna use the cast iron griddle right in the middle, we're gonna place our charcoal right in the middle. Now that we got the charcoals in the middle, we're gonna put our grate on there. So this is just your standard cast iron griddle. And all we're gonna do is just invert it to make a nice flat top on it. We're gonna close the lid, open our vents up high. And we'll be back. All right guys, so now we have some mesquite hickory chips. We're gonna to add to the fire which helps that cast iron really get to temperature. And we're gonna add butter, butter, butter. Be careful, that thing's hot. A little bit of oil. You guys hear that sizzle? Now, while these are cooking, you want to try to resist moving it. It's just like searing a steak or a good piece of chicken. If you flip it too early, it's not going to develop that good blackened crust that we're so used to. All right, guys, I think we're pretty close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to oil the top of the fish. It just really helps with the caramelization and that blackened seasoning. I just want to flip. <laughs> it's like I knew what I was doing. It's like I've done this before. Now that's what a good piece of cast iron can do for you right there. Who says cast iron sticks? All right, guys, so most of our videos, as you know, I'm a firm believer that it's just as important how you clean your cast iron as it is how you season your cast iron. So now I've taken my fish off, we're going to show you the cleaning process on this griddle. You ready? It's going to be hard. That's it. That's all there is. I'm just gonna let that flame keep heating this up. We're gonna shut the grill, close the vents.
All right, guys, moment of truth. If you made it this far in the video, you know what's about to happen. Mmm. Golly. Mmm. Oh, dang. Look how flaky that fish is. Nice and moist. It's really got a... Mmm. God. Hang on. We might have to stop video on. Hang on. I said hang on. Mmm. God, that's good. The crust on this fish with a little bit of that hickory smoke. Mmm. The mango is just a little sweetness. The jalapeno that we put in that ranch dressing mix. Golly.